Okay, welcome back everybody. Um, you know, because I'm staying at home, I uh, started digging through some boxes and I found a box of figures that I once tried to sell on eBay because I didn't want them anymore. <laughs> so I thought I'd do a little video. I honestly could not sell these figures for $9.99. That's all I was trying to get for them. I was selling them as a lot. They were gonna go in a flat rate box. Not one person wanted them for $9.99. Power of the Force, Shadows of the Empire, Star Wars figures. Okay, so I'll just kind of go through some of them. Uh, I'll start with uh, the ones in the front that are open, um, such as the instructions. And I know that this speeder came with the figure because of the instruction book. The cool thing about the speeder is that uh, it sits up kind of on its own. These little legs don't kind of hold this guy up. I think he was supposed to hold up like this or even more, but they kind of just barely hovers. But if you push this button, it was just like the vintage one. It broke apart so that you could be playing and then have them get shot by a laser and then break apart. And the cool thing about this setup was this was one of the only figures that had more than the um, five points of articulation because this actually had the knees that would bend so that he could ride the speeder. But the thing about the speeder is somehow, and I don't know how, just clicks together, somehow I have a Jedi Luke that I never remember picking up but it was the indoor Luke, and he also has the bent knees and the hand positions for the speeder. So I don't know if this figure also came with the speeder. If somebody knows, they can leave that down in the comments. I'd appreciate it. I didn't bother looking it up, but basically he could like ride the speeder as well. So theoretically, I got two figures that are built for the speeder, and they could both go for a ride. But here we have it, the power of the force. You can see I left them in the cards because when I was little and I opened all my other figures, uh, then I realized if they were still in the package, they'd be in, uh, more valuable. So I kept these in the package, but of course, I didn't know how to store stuff. So that's why you got all the bent packaging. Your uh, Adat Pilot, Adat Driver, whatever. And um, it's pretty cool. I mean, he has like the chest piece that's kind of movable. It's not like embedded, still five points. Of articulation right I don't know why you'd ever turn his head so he can do that hey look there's my uh, gas mask on my shoulder <clears throat> and uh, this is from Return of the Jedi this is the slave Leia right it looks pretty good this is um one figure that they never really came out with with the vintage collection here's the <clears throat> uh, bounty hunter I don't have her helmet I think I I did and I think what I did was I stole the helmet and used it for one of my vintage figures until I found a helmet um, and never gave it back to this figure, which is what I should probably do. Maybe that's why my auction didn't sell because anybody who was interested in this figure, of course, wanted it with the helmet and the staff. Anyways, here's a couple of Jawas. I think they're kind of cool. Uh, they came in a two-pack, probably because they were so short. Here's a TIE Fighter pilot. You can see he looks pretty good in there. The thing is, he's going to have the same issues as the ADAT driver, where if you turn his head, this thing's going to move, because it's not really connected to the figure at all. Um, I don't know why he would need such a big blaster. I don't know if that would fit in the TIE Fighter when he's flying around. The uh, Stormtrooper, right? I always thought it was interesting how they made these Power of the Force figures. Um, they got the really big chest and the narrow waist. I sort of feel like I'm playing with like a Sinbad, you know, from the old cartoon where he pulled his mighty belt or whatever and he turned really strong. So we got the course Darth Vader. He's still in the package there. Um, once again, got the big chest, flailed out. Here's, here's um, C-3PO. This is what he looks like in the uh, Power of the Force collection. Have the Han Solo. I don't know, like he's, I don't know if he's standing on like a soapbox or has his foot up. I guess it's like a really cool pose. He could put his hand on his belt. 
he has his foot kind of like standing up on like a box or something so he looks super cool and you know like the fawns or something like that this princess leia is interesting to me because the face sculpt if you look at it i think is horrible uh for one but two the way that they did the cape and the dress and the way she's standing i almost feel like it's modeled a little bit after that um, movie poster, the Obi-Wan Kenobi figure. And um, there's like the sculpt and the face and stuff like that. Here's the Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight. I always liked this outfit for Luke Skywalker. It took me a long time to actually find a decent one in the vintage collection or, you know, a vintage figure. And uh, I was so happy this last year, Hasbro finally came out with that Black Series version of this figure. Um, so I love this figure. I love this outfit for Luke. I thought it was really good. It was that they came out with these um, Shadows of the Empire figures. And I thought this figure was really cool, the Dash Rendar. Uh, I really like the accessories that he came with. It's like uh, features. He's got this thing that hangs over the side with his rifle, you know. I think we saw that once in The Mandalorian, right? Automatic weaponry. So that's you got this Luke Skywalker in Imperial Guard disguise, but I think it's a really cool version of it. Um, yeah, so I think it looks really cool in there. And I, that's my Power of the Force collection. Uh, I just thought I'd like make a quick video to show it off. Like I said, nobody wanted this entire collection for $9.99. Go figure. Um, which is crazy because I see it like on some of these online auction houses like, um, you know, where these thrift stores that are selling them and like a collection is like half the figures that I have is like 29, 30 bucks, you know, after four or five bids and stuff like that. But it's interesting to me what I, maybe it's just the time, uh, the timing of it all. Nobody wanted these like maybe five or six years ago, but maybe if I put them up today, people might be changing their mind because anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, check in. I'm going to make a couple more videos here and we'll see how things go. Thanks. Bye.